Wow. Jane, thank you very much. Our Jane Wells from Illinois today, we really appreciate it. All right, let's go down the river. Port of New Orleans still shut down after suffering a direct hit from Hurricane Ida. Luckily, the federal flood protection system implemented after Hurricane Katrina held up enough that the port didn't experience major damage from water. The port operates through four segments, rail, cargo, cruises, and industrial real estate, critical economic powerhouse for the region, generating $100 million in revenue or more. The port expands uh, through so many areas of the economy that they say their operations support one in five jobs in the entire state of Louisiana. Joining us now, Brandy Christian, president and CEO of the Port of New Orleans. Brandy, welcome. Good to see Where are you, Brandy? Well, good afternoon. As you can see, I'm actually uh, in a vehicle, uh, uh, actually uh, relocating some family to Florida today. Um, as you know, uh, the New Orleans uh, metropolitan area is without uh, power uh, for the most part. So just uh, relocating some family today um, as we uh, get operations back up. And we are starting to see a little bit of a glimmer of hope. We're getting some power turned on um, into some neighborhoods today well, in New Orleans. We wish, we wish you and your family the best as you do this. And we thank you under these circumstances for, for joining us. It's the miracle of, of, of current communications that we can do it, obviously. Tell us about the port. I, I gather it is still closed, but I've just been told that you plan to have a limited reopening as early as midnight tonight. How are you doing it? Uh, you know, um, working very uh, closely with our partners, uh, both our maritime partners as well as local officials, um, as, uh, as you mentioned in the opening, uh, we were fortunate at the Port of New Orleans. Uh, most of our assets were behind the $14 billion of federal flood protection. So we did not have any major damage at our facilities. Uh, the biggest challenge has been uh, power and electricity. Uh, we actually have a small uh, longshoreman labor force there today working on the terminal, uh, just kind of cleaning up uh, debris, getting operations ready on the terminal. Uh, they just announced the opening of the river. Um, so from a navigation standpoint, um, the river is open. And really, we're just uh, waiting for major power sources. Uh, we may be able to actually work some small container vessels this weekend and some brake bolt vessels uh, with ship's gear. Um, so we should be ready um, to be able to do that. Really, um, for major operations, it'll be getting major energy source for our large cranes. Power um, is one. We'll have Power is one thing, Brandy. Workers is another. Are you able to get workers in, or have many of them done what you're doing, and that is fled the area? Yep, that'll be the second challenge. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the uh, utility provider, Intergy, um, is doing an amazing job. Uh, we're actually starting to see a few neighborhoods come online. Obviously, the priority is getting power to hospitals um, and major industrial um, uh, businesses like the port. Um, so labor will be the challenge as well as fuel. Um, so we have small labor forces. As I mentioned, we have some small longshoremen um, forces that were able to stay there. We are arranging for um, potential uh, housing, both through uh, potential cruise ships as well as Marriott ready ships that can house local labor, including truckers, longshoremen, and healthcare workers. Uh, so all those arrangements are being made so that as we reopen the port that we have labor that has housing um, to be able to restart. So uh, we're going through all those processes now. Brandy, how quickly do you think you'll be back to normal at this point, And how does that compare with what you might have thought on Monday? You know, um, we actually uh, feel pretty good. You know, after Katrina, uh, we had much more of a, a water damage. Now, electricity wasn't as much of a uh, widespread as it is um, with this storm. Um, luckily, uh, Intergy seems to be able to get power on uh, much quicker than we initially thought uh, two days ago. So we're feeling pretty good about that. Uh, the waterways, the roadways um, are not as damaged as we initially thought they would be. And because the port held up so well, um, again, uh, if you think about back in Katrina, the amount of investment that went into federal flood protection really um, helped us rebound quite a bit from this um, compared to what it could have been. Not to say, believe me, uh, it's, it's very challenging and the uh, power situation really is, is the biggest challenge. And um, to, to your point, both getting um, the resources to get um, the, the labor there as well as our facilities up and running. Um, but we're optimistic. Um, obviously, the utility company can't give a 
specific uh, deadline of when they think power is going to be back on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hearing everything from uh, five days for major sites to anywhere to three weeks for the um, broader uh, city to be uh, back online. The uh, metro New Orleans area, right. um, they're saying about uh, almost a million um, households without, without power.